That is also a process of evolution. I, I, as many brain injured people, I'm not willing to say this is how I will be for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking that perhaps uh, perhaps I will uh, recapture my old brain, recapture my old abilities, mm -hmm. and maybe even with the help of uh, science or pharmaceuticals, well, it would become even better. I mean, are you better now than you were five years ago? Or I'm three better years? now than I was last week. You know, and I remember I finally got enough nerve up to tell a psychiatrist, you know, and he said, um, you're not crazy. Person, he said, person that's person part of your head injury. And that's but, the first time you had heard that. Yeah, because I'd never told anybody what was going on with me. Everything was just fine, thanks. You should write in there, Nautilus Bay, in that box. Eight years after her brain injury, Nani finally entered a cognitive rehab program at an Oakland community college. You know, I had to know when the bus left, what time I had to be at the bus, what I had to do to get to the bus, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, if I missed the first bus, how what would I get here? What were my options? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you taught me plan A, plan B, plan C, you know, and yeah. to like have them all, you know, in case I lost one, I could fall back on another one. And that really helped me get out of the house because I used to get lost when I would leave the house. I always... I always have problems with memory and organisation, so it was a little bit challenging. I did lose my ticket, <laughs> and I did get to the... I, they issued me my boarding pass, and then I lost it, and then I couldn't remember where it was, and then they had to reissue me with another ticket. Oh. And I had to ring up last night and find out exactly what airline was I on, because I couldn't remember, and I couldn't remember where the piece of paper was that had my flight information on and I couldn't remember what time it was that I was leaving wow. and so it's I, quite a memory plays quite a role then. yeah Adjusting. but other than that it was all fine <laughs> other than not being I, mean, you don't get I met Mark when I was looking for a guest speaker for the support group he's a brain injury survivor who received a PhD after his injury and he's now a professor teaching disability studies. Mark's done important work researching the lives of brain injury survivors and how we, as survivors, can change the way we think about ourselves. 